Yo, good afternoon. Y'all already know who it is, CJBK, or targeted individual CJBK. Um, yeah, I only have like a few more days left in, in my, my apartment. Um, I'm actually kind of kind of sad that I'm leaving because I really don't want to leave. I really don't want to leave. Okay, the AC went on. I really don't want to leave. Um, but, you know, to be honest, um, now that I'm not able to work my second job because they got this uh, vaccine mandate, and I'm not, I'm not taking that job. Nope. I'd rather wait for the aftermath, see what happens. I'm still making money other ways and whatnot. Um, but um, yeah, I wasn't really gonna try to like, you know, renew the lease and then um, stay here long and whatnot. Um, you know. Regardless of the regardless of the fact that most of my gang stalking shit started here anyway, um, I still like the area. I still very much enjoy the area very very much. Um, and I've never I've never really had problems with anybody here. Actually, I've never had a problem with anyone here. Hell, I don't even really speak to that many people for me to have a problem here. But yet, you know, they got fucking secret people you know looking in on people and shit like that you know whatever this whatever this this network is of like underground shit and it's, it's crazy because I'm like I've never been a snitch my entire life I mean hell I even do shit you know but I've never been a snitch in my entire life. Then all of a sudden, you got these people, these electronic handlers, whoever the fuck they are, you know, bunch of mid twenty something, late twenty something year olds, whatever, you know, you know they hype because they know some shit about technology and frequencies and 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 electromagnetic fields and whatnot. You know, they want to be able to, you know, they, I don't know where they work, but. For whatever reason, I get the idea if they don't work in in the tech industry as like a cybersecurity or something like that, then they probably work in the medical field because a lot of this has a lot to do with, you know, um, you know, medical, you know, technology. Yeah, everything from, you know, understanding uh, the um, cellular, um, cellular vibrational frequency or the vibrational frequency the vibrational frequencies of cells you know and along with other things including uh navigating the central nervous system and um what else and well another thing is just knowing well the building is run on a complete smart um meter so if it's a smart meter that makes that means it's definitely hackable Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, so um, I don't know. I'm like, I'm trying to prepare myself to move, at least move a majority of my things out tomorrow. And, um, you know, some people will be like, oh, you, you know, you're not worried about, you know, showing your face or talking so much about, you know, all this stuff. And, you know, you got the gang stuff. Look. God said not to let fear sit in your heart. Don't let fear sit in your mind. Don't let fear sit anywhere within your presence. You do what you got to do. You do what you got to do. You do what's right. You be righteous. You do everything you need to do to stay on that path. You know, I'm not perfect, but I'm not an overly aggressive person. I'm not an overly jealous person. I'm not an overly zealous person. I'm not a you know, I'm I'm not overly anything. If anything, I might be emotional, but I don't get like angry and stuff like that. I have a lot of patience for people, you know, a lot of patience, you know, I mean, shit, majority of my life, I worked in the food and beverage industry. You got to have patience if you work in the food and beverage industry, you know, so and, and you know, and that's that's another thing, though, like, you know, you can't be me and then have so many people to actually are comfortable with your presence. Like, I don't have problems with people. That's not who I am. That's, n that's never been who I was. Then all of a sudden, I move, I move to this fucking, you know, 
I can't even blame the area because all the problems just started in this building. In this building. You know, and I'm just like, yo, the crazy part is I've only like the people the people who I know is a part of it. I've only seen them like two, three, no more than four times. At least, at least, let me see. I seen one of them maybe about two two times after that March incident, and y'all can go back to the to the earlier, you know, you know, targeting individual vlog videos, and you know. Um, but yeah, I've only seen one person like two times after that. But the other, but but the males, the others, I haven't seen them since. I haven't seen them since. So I'm just like, oh, so that's how you know it's some 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 secret shit because I used to see them. I used to see them quite a bit. At least every once in a while, I used to see them. But now I don't see none of them no. And I'm just like, you know what? Okay. Cause I'm like, damn, if this is supposed to be a secret, then I'm just kind of like, so why are you ducking and hiding me though? Cause if it's a secret, then basically you could act like the victim every time you see me, but they don't even, they don't even, they don't even show their face around me. That's the funny part. That's the, yo, that's crazy. Now that I just thought about it, they don't even show their face around me. Like they really don't even show it. Like as if I'm going to do something to them. Remember what I said about what God said about fear, all right? Like they they literally change their whole lifestyle on them. They they probably wait till I go to sleep for them to to like. They they probably don't even walk past my door no more. They probably just use a whole different staircase to go over to. Well, that's the mom's house over there. You know, she lives back that way. But anyway, you know, and they're like, yo. Oh, he be talking about people. And I'm like, that's more slander and more lies. Because I don't never say anything disrespectful about a person. Unless they were probably doing something weird. Like, let's say, let's say if you seen somebody throwing some fucking trash out their window and it, and it goes on the street. I'm going to say some shit about that. Like, like. Motherfuckers can't just keep shit clean. And then they'll be like, oh, he talking shit about people. That's the type of shit they be on, right? Now, then, up, and then, <laughs> and then crazy thing is, you know, through V2K, the transmissions, I'll be like, I'll be thinking, of, I'll be thinking to myself as, let's say a woman walks past, I'm like, damn. Jeez. And then... I would hear one or both of them go, he sexualized every woman out that that's, you know, that walks by him. And I'm just like, but y'all motherfuckers aren't saying shit about the motherfuckers that's like, hey, yo, ma. Or, or the, the ones that try to go out and grab their hand or the, or the, or the, you know, I don't do shit to nobody. I really don't do nothing to nobody, but yet, they coming after me like I stole, like I took the lollipop right out their mouth and they was like a two-year-old baby or something like that, you know. But, you know, but nah, on the real though, they keep trying to say, oh, they were offering me an opportunity. They wanted me to become a police officer. I said, I don't want to become a police officer. Mostly for the fact that, well, for one, I not that I don't like police or don't trust police or whatever like that, because I, I, I'm pretty sure I would be a great police officer. I just don't have no interest in becoming a police officer. And I'm thinking to myself, they're like, oh, we're a secret society. You have no idea what you're, what you're getting yourself into. And I'm just like, look, I said I just don't want to become a police officer. Well, my main thing I said back in September, October was, um, look, if y'all leave me alone, no harm, no foul. Leave me alone. No harm, no foul. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta know shit about who you are. I ain't gotta know shit about what you're doing. I just don't want to be a part of what you're doing. I'm not gonna believe be no police officer. You know, whatever the case may be. So I'm thinking to myself like, okay, you know, maybe they'll offer me a different opportunity because they keep they keep telling people their audience. 
because remember when they're broadcasting, they have an audience. They're like, oh, you know, we try to we tried to offer him an opportunity, and I'm like, motherfucker, I don't want to become a police officer. Like, like, I just don't want to become a police officer. They could have asked me to become an EMT. They could have asked me to become anything else. I just don't want to become a police officer. And they just like, oh, you, we just we trying to offer you opportunity, and, and and he 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 mad disrespectful and blah blah blah. And I'm just like, I'm just thinking about that one video I watched of that one woman, this one sister, you know, this beautiful black woman. She was she was just going hard on two videos, and they were each like like 25 minutes a piece, where she was going in on like it's a secret network of people that's like human trafficking, children and babies and women, and they're doing all these things to people and they're doing, using covert, they're using covert, you know, tactics and using electronics and, and trying to like use direct energy and frequencies and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm watching the video and I actually, I, I actually got to speak to her on the phone too. And um, I was kind of happy I did because I was like, yo, whenever you see a black woman go hard on, 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 on some shit like that, like, you know, she ain't lying. So, you know, and then I could tell I could tell from the background of her video, um, she was probably in the New York, D.C. I want to say she was probably more in the New York area, but she could have been in D.C. or Maryland um, or Jersey. But one of them, one of them for D.C., New York, Jersey or Maryland, you know, and, um, you know, I'm just all I'm trying to do is just 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 live my life, man. That's all I'm trying to do is live my life. Everybody who knows me know I ain't never been a problem to nobody. All of a sudden I move here and people I don't even fucking know. People don't even fucking know people who ain't never even fucking said hello to me when I first moved in here. And these motherfuckers talking about some, oh, he threw a house party. He threw a, a, a fucking um, a housewarming party and was making mad noise. And I'm like, ain't not near nada, not a near nada, <laughs> not a near nada person came and told me anything about me disturbing their peace or anything like that. What did they do? They went straight to their secret society or whatever to try to see if they can scare me and shit. And then, oh, because because I went to the hospital and I told them, I was like, yo, I don't know what it is, but I was hearing voices and whatnot, you know, but then over time I learned it was it's transmissions. You know, it's a frequency transmission that goes directly into the skull. And because the skull is so thick and there's a lot of fluid, it basically does what's called a bone conduction. The sound is basically, you know, conducted in the bone. So then you can actually, and then the brain picks up the frequencies and it decodes the the frequencies. And then you can actually hear the words and stuff like that. This is all bio resonance. You know, it's all based on the individual's bio frequencies. So it's like, other people won't be able to hear it because when they when they lock you in, when they heterodyne you, right? They lock you in and they target your brain and your brain will send back information to let you know it's your brain sending information. And then their computer with the algorithms and all that, it'll basically lock on to your, your brain's, you know, resonating frequency. And then next thing you know, they can lock onto that and then they'll you know I don't know exactly how they do it but um yeah that's that's pretty much how they do it you know um I mean I got patents and stuff that show like they I mean they're older patents but I'm pretty sure there's probably new mechanisms and new techniques and how they do it anyway but nah at the end of the day I wasn't doing shit to nobody I really wasn't doing shit to nobody. And now I got random fucking people who don't even fucking know me. Random people who don't even know me watching my every move. Got random people who don't even know me probably trying to job mob me or whatever. 
you know, job momming is basically when they find whatever ways possible to try to see if they can uh, hinder your performance or whatever they can do to sabotage your performance. You know, um, like let's say I, I, I do deliveries, right? Let's say in order to shorten my money or make me look bad at my job, they'll probably have somebody come by and steal a package, right? So then it'll look like I lost the package on my route. Or they'll probably, let's see, I don't know, maybe they'll get in contact with one of the customers because, you know, because they're doing the remote neural monitoring and then they have the, the optic nerve, um, they have the optic nerve um, frequency or whatever, so then they can actually see what I, everything that I see. So what they'll do is they'll see the address and the apartment number, then they'll probably like find that person and be like, hey, don't let him in. He's like, he's like a, I don't know, they'll make up whatever crazy lie that they can. And then they'll say, hey, don't let him in. He's, you know, he's like a, he's a serial killer, blah, blah, blah. This is also shit that I hear them say, you know, through the V2K transmissions, you know. But, um, you know, yeah, don't mind me. I, I, I was working earlier and now I got my old fashioned. But, um. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I mean, I don't do shit to nobody, and that's the, this is the part that gets me the most, is that I, I work real hard, I work real hard for everything that I get, and then I work real hard to be the person that I am, to be the, to be the person that people feel like they can trust and be the person that people feel like they can you know um rely on in any situation to always be cool but it's so crazy to me how there's people like them and and i already i already have these people made out like i have them made out so well and um the one the one who does the main the main talking through the V2K he's like he reminds me of one of those like pompous smart guys that like like back in high school he probably he probably knew some street people or whatever but he was never really running the streets but he knew how to like you know do all kinds of like you know, um, hacking type shit, or he knew how to like build computers, or he knew how to like, if you had a, he knew, he probably knew how to turn a regular phone into a burner or whatever shit like that. You know, he's probably one of them type of people, but he never really, he never really got his hands dirty, you know, like, like, and I grew up, I grew up knowing all kinds of people, all kinds of people. And people always think, oh, you know, he's he's nice. He, you know, he he ain't about. I'm I'm really not about the violent life. No, I ain't about no violent life. You know, I I've done a fair share of things, but I ain't never really done nothing violent. You know, so um, but it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't take it up the question. Am I capable of doing something violent? Anybody is capable of doing something violent. I mean, shit. What? <laughs> There's so many documentaries of, of 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 genuinely good people who would who basically just got fed up and snapped one day, you know. But I'm not gonna be one of those people, especially when I realize when I know what is happening to me. And that I'm by the grace of God, I'm so thankful that, you know, I actually was able to um, have that conversation with God beforehand, you know, or or in the very beginning because I knew. I knew something was wrong when I was hearing a voice in my head that wasn't mine. And it wasn't like a demon voice. It wasn't like a, a white person's voice or anything like that. It was it was a voice, right? It was a voice. And then, like, at first, at, you know, the crazy thing is, I remember it like it was yesterday. The crazy thing was, I was hearing two dudes' voice, right? And then 
the first thing that they were saying, we're going to shoot you in your sleep. You know, and I was, and it was bugging me out. And I'm I'm bugging out and I'm like, the hell? And, you know, this is quarantine. This is quarantine. So I've been, I, you know, and I live in my apartment by myself. So this is quarantine. I'm in a new neighborhood, you know, don't really know nobody like that. And I'm just hearing somebody say, we're going to shoot you in your sleep. And I'm in here sitting in the dark watching a movie and shit. And I, and I had a little sip, sippy sip on the side. So I'm sitting in here watching a movie and I just hear somebody talking about something. We're going to shoot you in your sleep. And I'm like, I'm looking around and I'm like, I know I'm the only one in my apartment. And then I, and I just keep hearing it like as clear as it, it was like it was low enough, almost like 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 a low whisper. We're going to shoot you in your sleep. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, what the hell? And then I'm looking around it, and then like, and then they're like, you're not gonna find us. And I looked outside, I'm looking outside, ain't nobody outside. And then I just keep hearing it. And I remember I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I went outside. I went outside because I wanted to see if there was anybody outside on the sidewalk. Went outside, ain't nobody outside. Ain't not a soul outside, you know. This and like I said, this is like September, like late September, early October of last year. Then, um, you know, I come back inside, and then I hear one of the voice, one of the dudes go, "We told you, you're not gonna find us." And I'm like, "What the fuck is happening right now?" You know. Then, uh, <laughs> and then. <laughs> I hear I hear the girl now and she's like he confident. <laughs> so <laughs> so all of a sudden I just sat down on my couch like right like right where I'm at now. Don't pay don't little I'm cleaning right now. Don't pay that no mind. But um I'm sitting on the couch right where I'm at and I'm like yo I am bugging out. And then all of a sudden I start hearing a woman's voice go, go oh don't cry don't cry. And then I and then all of a sudden I started to calm down a little bit and I was like, wait a minute. And then she said, Oh, he feel he happy because he hear a black woman voice. And I'm like, hold the fuck up. I'm like, wait a minute. That's when that's when something clicked in my head and I was like, whoa, there's something. There's a much much bigger story going on here. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna go to sleep. And hope that I don't hear nothing when I wake up. And I woke up. And still hearing the dude's voice. The chick came on too, you know. But um, yeah. At the end of the day, um, I know it was it like there's two main dudes, right? And then there's two women. That's that's on this shit. Um, I don't know. They keep telling me I'm I'm state property. You know, whatever the case, they keep telling me I'm state property. Um, they keep telling me that, you know, well, I mean, I've already learned through research that this can be like a lifelong thing. Some people actually somehow get out of the the um, the program. Um, some are saying it's MK Ultra. Uh, you know, MK Ultra might be done with by now, but I don't know. Um, But yeah, so they're all kind of just like, oh, they're all just kind of like, oh, you weren't supposed to say nothing. Motherfucker, you're not supposed to be going in nobody's heads with no damn frequency transmissions. You're not supposed to be doing that. Talking about something, you're not supposed to say nothing. I'm like, what you mean I'm not supposed to say nothing? You're not supposed to be going in people's heads without their permission. And then the funny thing is, I, I found this uh, 1998 um, um, research paper uh, titled The Mind Has No Firewall. Um, I can't even tell I can't even remember the name of the person who wrote it, but you could probably look it up online real easy. The Mind Has No Firewall. And uh, when you think about something like that, when you know what a firewall is and you think about the brain... It's like, and you learn about frequencies and things of that sort, and you learn that the brain cannot block out 
certain things unless you are consciously aware that something is trying to income, like something incoming to your brain and you actually actively uh, block it. That's a whole different story. But the like, like when you're in your like resting state or whatever, the brain doesn't just block things that, you know, um, that doesn't belong. The brain takes in everything. The brain picks up on every frequency, everything. It picks up on everything. No matter what, it's, it's, it's you know, if you hear it, you see it, you taste it, smell it, your brain's going to pick it up, decode it, boom. It's already there as a memory, you know. So, um, yeah, I, I deal with, what was it, 25 minutes? Oh, shit. I didn't even expect to rant this long, but, um, yeah. Um, but you know what? Not for nothing. Damn, I'm picking up my coworkers line. Not for nothing. Um, I've learned a lot. More than I ever want to really know about technology. Or its advancement, really. And also, I've learned many ways of blocking... Um, well, blocking, shielding, um, what else? How to recover and heal, um, and um, ways of, yeah, basically keeping my keeping my spirit high. Yeah, I believe out of all of this, I'm about I'm actually about to become a lot stronger than I ever was in my entire life. Cause this is a this is a true battle. Look, right now, right now they're trying to send they're sending, not trying, but they're sending frequencies to my to probably hmm, it couldn't it could be my PCL or my or my um my ACL. Either one. But I'm feeling like, you know, like this this sharp shooting pain and it starts right in the center of my knee and it and it goes down and stops about halfway. Of my calf so right now they're basically trying to cause me pain and stuff like that but you know what like i said i i, I told them i i don't snitch on no way but at the same time i just said oh i don't want to become a police officer they could have offered me anything else i don't want to become a police officer they could have offered me anything else but i want to become a police officer i gave them at least like what almost almost damn near what two three let me see. Started like September, October. Let's say October, right? October, November, December. I think I didn't start making my first video and shit until about. No, I started. I started making posts on like Instagram and Facebook probably around like November, like November or December. So I'm like, I gave them time to at least offer me something else before I start snitching, you know, but. This is crazy though. Like, and then the fact that so many people are okay with another human being who bleeds red just like them, seeing flesh, skin, and bones just like them, that people are okay with the fact that someone else is in your head. Someone else is in your head looking at everything you think, hearing everything that you hear, seeing everything that you see, and they're all cool with it. Everybody is cool with it. Like everybody is cool with it. And I'm just thinking, and I'm and the more I've been doing research on this stuff, and the more it kind of dawns on me, I'm like, does anyone realize that Silicon Valley and all these other major tech companies, there's at least 10 big companies that's working on all these different type of neurological um devices that, you know, study brainwave activity and you can do shit on computers. I don't think a lot of people realize they are trying to collect neurological data so then they can build like an artificial, like a like a augmented reality platform or create some type of like fake life, right? So then let's say if you're if you like let's say 10, 15 years from now, if your life was crappy or whatever, um, and you want to just plug yourself into, let's say, the internet, you know, because um, at the, at some point we're kind of already there where people are uploading their minds onto the internet and some people can actually get information downloaded into their brain or whatever. 
And I'm just like, like, we are at the point where people can literally have a digital copy of themselves onto some type of software. So then next thing you know, in the next like two, two, two to four or five, two to five years, two to five years tops, when they come out with like some type of augmented reality thing and people start putting on headsets and and logging themselves online or, or you know they can go into some type of like virtual reality or augmented reality type thing and they can put themselves uh on the internet basically they will mess around and run up on a digital copy of themselves or someone that they know it might not look exactly like them but it will be like all their mannerisms it'll be all of their their, their dialect how they dress it'll be a whole bunch of things and then i'm just i'm just like bugging out because i'm like yo i can't believe this i can't believe the streets is cool with this because i'm just thinking to myself i thought the streets is supposed to move silent and with no trace with no with no way to track them but they're like they're doing all this digital shit and I'm like, no matter how hard you try, and this is the one thing that I've learned through the people that I know physically, and then through watching numerous different documentaries, I ain't talking about movies, I'm talking about documentaries based on real factual shit. People, you would have think people would, would have learned at some point you can only do but so much using devices and technology and stuff before everything catches up to you. I mean, regardless, I mean, regardless, the energy you put out into the universe, you got to be aware that that's going to come back to you. If you put out negative energy into the universe, it's going to come back to you no matter what. I could be dead and gone or they probably find some way to lock me up, whatever the case, you know, with some fake crime that they probably said I committed, whatever the case. Um, to be honest, I can't believe the streets is actually OK with this because. I mean, if everything is being done digitally. I mean, hell, you see what happened to Silk Road. So imagine what they'll do when I mean, because I've already I've already read, you know, the article from from army dot com really about how they have a quantum spectrum analyzer. And I'm just like and they built that well before they built that device. Well, like, let me see, probably a little after 2016 because of the um, the whole incident with the Havana um, out in Havana, Cuba with the, the U.S. delegates and stuff like that. They built that device because of what happened in, in you know, Cuba in 2016. So I'm just thinking to myself, it's only about a matter of time. And, you know, granted, all this shit is probably government funded anyway. The government is not going to let itself get blamed for some shit again. Bill Clinton already apologized in 1995 on the news live about the radiation experiments that the u.s government had did on citizens during the cold war you know and there's numerous there's numerous evidence out there where the u.s government has definitely tested shit on its own citizens you know whether it was a biological weapon or or means to find a a, a cure to a disease and then not necessarily give the cure to the people that was testing the shit on Tuskegee experiments, but that's a whole nother story. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, I just had to get some of this off my chest again because um yeah, it's it's bullshit, man. Like all of this shit is bullshit. And it's crazy because I mean, people who know me for years always knew that I I'd be into you know I'd be into almost anything in the news, almost anything, as long as it makes sense, you know. And people knew that you know I used to, you know, people know that you know I look into conspiracies too, you know. So, but now, now that I'm actually, 
Now that I'm actually living a conspiracy, and it's not and it's not even a theory at this point. It's not even a theory. The fact that I found out that this is what I'm going through has been happening to people for decades, and it just caught up to me. Uh, funny how it caught up to me after I decided that I'm not gonna be doing. Um, I done started the, the show again, but yeah, funny how this all started when I decided that I was gonna, uh, you know, change my life up and whatnot. I mean, I always, I always knew in my twenties, I was like, yo, I'm, I'm a, I'm a calm my life down in my thirties, but for whatever reason. I have a feeling that something weird is going to happen in my 30s. Some, I have a feeling that my 30s is going to be a trip. I spoke it into existence and, and didn't even really understand just how much of a trip this was really going to be. But, um... Mm. Oh, might as well show y'all what I got. Yeah, so... Oh yeah, this, this is great. Um, it's called On The Rocks, All right? It's a, it's already like a pre-made um, cocktail. This is the old fashioned. I don't really care too much for like very strong, I mean, no, very sweet things. I got another one too. Um, another On The Rocks. This is the uh, Jalapeno Pineapple Margarita. Um, I think they're like like ten dollars a piece. Was it ten dollars a piece? I think like eleven dollars a piece, something like that. Anyway, but yeah, um, I'm not a lush or anything like that. Um, I don't drink like I I used to in my twenties. You know, I'm a little bit more uh matured with mine. But um, yeah. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, um, I just had to get up here and talk about this because I'm like, yo, I know people, people who know me for years probably think I'm going crazy and it's like, no, nah, I'm not going crazy. You just, either you a part of it or you just don't know that it's happening. But it's, it's, this is very real though. This is very real. You know, I done had some friends basically flip on me. You know, I kind of already picked them out. They, I realized, you know, they knew about this, you know, so-called um, hidden agenda thing. You know, um, you know, I still treat them like how I normally treat them. You know, I don't disrespect nobody unless they disrespect me first. You know, but if they doing, if they throwing subs, I mean, I can't really, you know, as a as a target individual, you're not really supposed to react. You know, you're not supposed to react because that's exactly what they're looking for. They're looking for you to react, but you don't. You don't ever. You don't ever uh, react to whatever they put out against you. So, but yeah, um, let me end this hit. Oh my goodness, it's almost forty minutes. Yeah, um, yeah. Let me end this here, and um, when I finally move, um, yeah, when I finally move, I'm gonna have a bit more money. Um, to try to build some things. Uh, one of my, one of my, you know, TI buddies from Canada, he keeps asking me, yo, did you ever build that, that fan, that magnet fan? I'm like, no, nah, man. I mean, and it's real simple. It's, it's literally taking like, you know, taking some, some small neodymium magnets. Um, and like, uh, preferably if you got the ones with the, the ones with the little hole in it or, hold up. Cause well, I got, I wear this belt, right? I wear this belt, but on the belt, I have these magnets, right? Right, so I like place one magnet there and well, that one kind of broken, broken pieces or whatever. But I got these magnets here. And the reason why I'm wearing it on this belt is because what my perps my electronic handlers like to do is they're attacking the nerve that basically um controls um the well controls my left leg they're attacking that nerve and um what i've learned 
is that um, what magnets do, they attract energy, right? So when I, I it, it kind of came to me like just based, just off of, uh, I know I learned something about, I, I had read some stuff about neodymium magnets and how they can actually work against this and that. So then um, I bought me some neodymium magnets and then I had, I was feeling like this pain on, where was I feeling it? I was feeling this pain somewhere on my body, right? And yeah, I'll just grab one. I was feeling this pain on my body somewhere. Then all of a sudden, right? So you see the magnet here. Let's say I was, oh, perfect. So let's say I'm feeling heart palpitations, right? I'm just sitting here, you know, you know, if you're just sitting still somewhere and then all of a sudden you start to feel your heart like a big doom out of nowhere and you're, and you're a target individual and you feel doom. It's not like doo doom, doo doom, doo doom. It's not like like consistent big thumps, but it's like doom, 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 doom. Like, like almost as if like they're trying to induce a heart attack on you. What I learned was I just take this magnet here, right? In the exact spot where I felt that, I would place it right there. And that would actually draw, or it would actually kind of like, like it would either draw the energy up or, or draw it away from my heart. And then, so what I'm doing here is with my back, I would place the stack of, you know, magnets on that specific area where um, my vertebrae is, uh, I forgot the exact number, the exact vertebrae, but I would place it near that vertebrae. And then, you know, the nerve, the nerve basically exits the vertebrae and then it goes down into the leg. I place the magnets as close to that nerve as I can. So then whenever they're trying to, you know, send those those painful frequencies or, or, or attack the, the nervous system that way, um, the magnet basically kind of like intercepts. It basically like intercepts and draws that energy before it can finish traveling down. Like I would feel them um, basically pushing the frequency through my spinal cord and then it's supposed to travel. So I would feel them trying to push the frequency, right? But then every time they would push it, I could actually feel where the magnet is at and then where the energy flow would stop and then the magnet would probably draw it away so yeah but um there, there's a number of different things um but yeah um let me go ahead and end it here uh oh i gotta get ready to move damn i really like this neighborhood and i, I really like this neighborhood and i ain't even really get to really fully enjoy it because I couldn't didn't even have enough time to get to know anybody like you know I ain't even I ain't even have time to really get to know anybody or, or whatever because I mean I'm a cool ass dude that's the, that's the shit that gets me the most is that like, I'm a cool ass person I don't do nothing to nobody I don't snitch on nobody anybody wherever I'm at knows that I'm usually good peoples you know all of a sudden, I move out here, Boone Avenue and shit, you know. Um, all of a sudden, now I'm a problem to people, and then and then these these people who's controlling all the electronic shit, you know, they're the ones who's the main liars, telling everybody that I'm doing all this stuff. Oh, he's taking pictures of people. No, the fuck I wasn't. Oh, he was, you know. Oh, he was. Um, you know, he was doing all kinds of, he was doing weird shit. He was, you know, smoking weed. I'm like, everybody was fucking smoking weed, you know? So I don't know, but yeah, um, let me go ahead and get off this. Um, as always take life, one breath, one thought, one step, one day at a time. And remember, you only got one life. One mind, one body, one spirit, and one God. All right, peace.